Well, folks, I thought I'd tasted everything. But I'll tell you, this is my little friend, Sin, and she has got to be one of the best best chefs I've met in a, quite a while. Now, i got to admit, though, you're using some of the best products I've ever seen, too. And you got to start with the, the best yes. to make the best. This is our first, first product, shellfish yes. from Taylor. Yes, it's all Taylor shellfish. In fact, right behind us is all the water, a lot of the stuff comes from. And now you're going to be making what for us? I'm going to do Mediterranean mussel, okay. saute and herb and spices. Wait till you see this. You will not believe the look of these mussels. I just got back from Europe and I thought the mussels were good there. Nothing like them, huh? These are the finest. Okay. Okay. She knows what she's doing. You need some help? John had yes. to go get mussels from the sink. Oh, we need John? Oh, did he we, need, we need mussels from the sink. Oh, yeah, okay. Get a plate or something you okay, put Okay, here we go. All right, so you just sauteed some butter and Open. some herbs. I forgot about the mussel in there. You forgot about the mussel. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, how long have you been cooking? Now, your style is, is you say you're Vietnamese? Yes. So you, you're cooking a little style of what, Vietnamese, maybe a little Italian? Well, uh -huh. no. I, I like to think that I cook a little Vietnamese, more Asian than Italian, but uh -huh. in the restaurant, the restaurant, when they open them, we're just trying to come up with recipes, what we want to serve the shellfish, what we oh, have I in see. Taylor Farm. Okay. So what I come up with, like the mussel, I have the red sauce, like Mediterranean sauce. Tomato sauce? Tomato sauce. Really? But, you know, my creation, I do my own that's stuff. Okay. Well, so. that's, that's called fusion now. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> what it is. So anyway, and, you know, to get a variety dish on yes. our restaurant, so that's what I do. So just one. Okay, variety. here's the mussel. Thank you. Now, we look at these. Uh, John, these are the, the European mussels that you're growing here. And again, this is the summer. And folks, you are not going to believe what these mussels look like. You will not believe. I've never tasted anything like this in my life. Sweet, tender. Absolute finest. It's just the finest. Put a little lemon, a little this, a little that. Little you got a nice hot burner too, huh? Yes. That was good. You can take mm. these anywhere to put in there. I know. i got to get one of these. I've got everything else. We might as well get one of these, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little basil. Yeah. Oh. So, John, do you have these mussels, what, all year round now? Oh, these mussels are... variety? These mussels are best right now. Uh -huh. August, July, August, September uh -huh. is when they're peak. And then what, what happens after that? Well, they they, they spawn in the wintertime, but look how oh, okay, just that's incredible. Very fat, very never plump, seen anything like tender, that. Tender, sweet. Most mussels you get nowadays are just all shrunk up. There's nothing there. Yeah. You have to eat uh, three dozen to, to get full, or mm -hmm. even to, these are the you best. Eat the, the food in this bay is uh, just ideal for uh, growing shellfish. The best, mm -hmm. best, best in the world. Jeez. Totten Inlet. <laughs> what's, how, what's the name of it? Totten Inlet. Look at that, we just starting to open now. Ah, boy. That's, how long have you been cooking now, Sam? Well, I, I don't know. I've been working for Taylor for like on and off for the last 15 years no or kidding. longer. Right. You know, and uh, what I start to cook when I work for the company, when they have buyer come in or oh, some people okay. come to visit, then yes, I yes, cook. Yes. First, we start out like saute manila clam and oyster and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But then I said cook more and more, so I create more dish. Mm -hmm. We cook on and off for 15 years, but not professionally. Uh, up to five years ago, I entered the uh, cooking contest in Oyster Fest. But the amateur, because I'm not full-time cooking for a living, you know. Yeah. I, I win that one. But I hear you're pretty, <laughs> I hear you're pretty fast. Yeah, I did. I, 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 huh? <laughs> Well, I was that the oyster opener? No, mean? but cook oh, it, cooking amateur. Oh, okay. I entered one dish and what? I went the best of main dish and what? the best of overall. What dish was it? Mussel curry, Mediterranean Ooh, mussel curry. Oh my gosh! You know, in the curry sauce. Now, what's so. this? I hear you're supposed to be a pretty good shucker. Well, huh? I, I well, it, five times world champion. I heard. Huh? West Coast champion. Oh, West Coast yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah. 
Wow. Third national, so yeah. I'm not quite good yet. But yeah. I'm going to loosen up for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, well, you know, I, think, I think you'll put me in the sack if I no, try. No, I have a knife for you right there. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, Pick boy. That up and All right. See what you can do with it. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I've chucked. I've done more driving than chucking. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm doing a little chucking, a little okay. driving. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. Okay. Well, right. you want to check? Okay. Which one? This for you. Why do you take that one? Because this is my favorite knife. Oh, wait a minute. i got to see is, why. It's different because okay. we, can't, we can't use these knives anymore because they wouldn't handle. Them, you know, oh, really? For check for professionally because... Uh, they say they uh, contaminate, you know. Oh, for the wood? Yeah. Really? No but kidding. That's so why they yep. stuck on all. I've seen these now. But I like my favorite knife, so. Okay. Well, I'll let you have that. Now, you're going to give me a handicap, right? In other words, you're going to give me like five to start with because you're five I, I don't know. You might pull my leg because no. you might be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I'm get myself in a good one here. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a shucking, uh, a shucking and jiving contest. But well, first, we're going to see about the uh, muscles. Okay, the muscles probably done. Yep. Actually, my specialty is muscles. Yeah? Yeah, I open muscles better than horses. I don't know how to open muscles. That's what I we're going to do then. I can do it pretty good though. <laughs> we check for meat sometimes to sell them, you know, yeah. uh, for deep fried the meat. So there we are. Look at this. Okay. Ready Look. to eat so everybody okay. can just. Look at this. Did you get a shot of that? Look at that. Isn't Look at this. Nice big muscle. That is absolutely absolutely incredible there folks you, you know what we just don't need enough muscles in this country europe they can't they can't grow enough of them here we got to learn to enjoy the muscles because it's a new to oh, this country though just, but they they are healthy and they there's uh, less cholesterol on these and, and most shellfish and they're more reasonable shellfish too they, i they mean they reasonable. really are but when so, you get a product like this i mean this is this gotta be the finest in the world. You can a do a lot of way with them. Cause mm -hmm. they mild. You can mm -hmm. cook with a lot of different, you know, mm -hmm. herbs and spices, whatever way you well, want it. Let's let's try one out. Uh, we've already eaten hot, some of these. Huh? Well, yeah, it's gonna be hot. But boy, how can you resist this? Look at this. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Absolutely fantastic. It is. That's the best I've ever had, without a doubt. Thank you so much. But this is supposed to be cooking on the beach, so I only oh, have limited yeah. season, you know, spice and Gee, with and the stuff. wood smoke getting the smoke in the inside, <laughs> it'd be good. <laughs> Okay, Chef uh, John Pisto here has challenged Sindwelly, five-time West Coast Oyster Shucking Champion, to a little uh, shucking duel here. Now, shuckers, take your uh, take Wait, your. Where's where's the banjos at? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Put your put your arm, uh, sho uh, hands over your shoulders, and I'll say, shuckers, take your mark, get set, go. We have six oysters, okay. and whoever uh, gets their uh, oysters done first is the uh, the. Uh, Champion. <laughs> the Monterey cooking champion. Okay. Well, okay, shuckers. Oh, boy. Take your mark. I'm going to try. Get set. Go. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. <laughs> hey, you're only doing half of it, John. I'll come back and get the rest. You got the rest there, John. I got to come back for it. <laughs> oh, no, I lost it. Oh. oh. Actually, the chef's, chef's, uh, the chef's doing well. Woo! Now let's examine the quality, too. Well, it's not the first time, folks. Actually, the chef did good. And it's not the bad, not the last time. Let's see, let me check yours. Uh-huh. But notice she got the muscle underneath. Uh, so did I. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. 
What you mean? No, Jesus. <laughs> what happened to that one? They're sticky. These are called sticky oysters, folks. <laughs> Good job, Chef. Good job. <laughs> That's great. Well, you can see why she's a champion. And, uh, well, kind of a runner-up a little bit, but that was real good. I wish I could have watched her do it. I guess I'm going to have to watch the tape, see how she did it so darn fast. Okay, folks, now you're going to see the ultimate of barbecued oysters. Now, Sin has got this technique really down. If you think she knows how to shuck, you ought to see her cook oysters. Okay? Now, this this kind of explain everybody what you're doing. You're okay. Just barbecue and This is barbecue. Open you're doing your barbecue mm -hmm. on, like, medium-high. Okay. Heat, and then you put your oyster the cup side up uh -huh. like this mm -hmm. for the juice. You don't right. lose all the juice. And they cook for about three to five minutes. Let them pop then open. Then they pop open. You take the shell, the top shell off like that. And then. See, they're steaming in their own juices. Yeah, they kind of pop open a little bit. Yeah. And you just get your knife mm -hmm. and, and just take now, it off. Any oyster works good? Any or these, I think these, the, these here? The well, Pacific? depend on what you like what you in like? the okay. oyster meat. How big do you want? Mm -hmm. Small, medium, that's the best for okay. cooking. So then How about mussels? Mussels go good with this too. Huh? Yes, you can do that same thing with the mussels. Right. We did that earlier. So, But anyway, then put a little sauce over. All right. And the sauce is basically what I do today. I have a little um, butter and garlic brown little garlic and lemon juice and little black bean sauce mm -hmm. and basil in okay, here so let me tell you folks this is delicious absolutely delicious and, and they're ready to go yeah then you cook another couple more minutes and then they'll be ready it, to okay. just for the seasoning to get into it oh you, know? you let the seasoning get the uh, match yeah up yeah a little bit okay well, here's that big giant one we got yeah this on here. Just, <laughs> they're trying they're trying to get me to eat this one i don't know i'll though. show you the difference on it. well this uh, between this oyster, like a year, year and a half. And this, this is about one? year old oyster. This is about four. That's a four year old four, oyster. Yeah. Wow. Or, or older, I think. So. so you want the nice and juicy in there? Yeah, because uh, you, you okay. need glue, but not to chew from the oyster. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, and there it is. Real simple and delicious. And anyone can do this at home, and you can put any kind of sauce. You want to go with the tomato sauce, you can. You can have huh, anything you want, really. Well, the sauce basically, yeah. it, you can be more creative if you like, sure. but you know. And but this sauce is just delicious. But I mean, it's the idea of doing them. They're, I mean, great, great hors d'oeuvre, having party with people. Yeah, you do. Just sitting yeah. doing exactly what we're doing today. Well, for the people who don't have, don't want a barbecue, they can do this sure. in, the, in the oven too. And do them in the oven. Yeah, same, but, same different. But know? again, you know, the uh -oh. key, the key is really using first class product yeah and that's that's the key well you buy oyster you make sure they're fresh and uh yep and they taste better that way too well i tell you you've got the best of both worlds here yeah very, it's lucky for good. me though yeah, i get lucky. to get yeah. them okay there you have it barbecued oysters by chef sin <laughs> sin let's show people another oyster okay this is probably to me the finest of all the oysters on the half shell okay this is called Kumamoto. Now we know um, Taylor has been growing these now for about 15 years. 15 years. Yes. I know. <laughs> Gee. So you know these these are probably the sweetest of all of them, wouldn't you say? Yes. No. They. I. I like them. They eat yeah. the best. They eat the but, best. Good. Good term. <laughs> now you. Now if you're ever in the, the Olympia area in Washington, Sin has got a fantastic restaurant now we haven't been to her restaurant yet but because they're doing a little remodeling but she's been cooking for us all afternoon here and i can tell you she knows what she's doing okay if you ever in the area it's called sin's oyster sin uh, clam and oyster clam house, and oyster house. Yeah. very very good right downtown shelton downtown shelton <laughs> all right you got a phone number the railroad and <laughs> <laughs> okay all right no hey very 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 good Make sure you, if you're in the area, try. Go out of your way to go there, folks. <laughs> okay. okay, folks, so there you have it. These are the people that made this trip uh, possible. I want to thank, first of all, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. Thank you so much 
It was very, very nice of you to put up with all our annex. Sin, I want to thank you for You're being welcome. real good. We're going to get even with you one of these days. <laughs> Bill, thank you very much. And John, my buddy, mushroom hunter. And, yeah, we got and, trails in two weeks. Oh, so. boy. <laughs> but thanks for inviting us up here. And uh, I'm sure we've opened people's eyes on eating shellfish. And in particularly the quality that's grown up here, you have really something to be proud of. I've never seen quality like this. Again, that's called Taylor uh, shellfish, folks. <laughs> okay, thank you again. Folks, would you think of that video? Isn't that wasn't that neat footage we got? And Sin, wasn't she something? She was fast. I mean, she was fast. I thought I was fast, but she was really fast. Um, I was really impressed the way she cooked those oysters. And I'm going to show you how to cook them at home. Now, when you buy them, make sure you buy big ones. You know, they, uh, you have to maybe ask for them. Go to your supermarkets. Go to you know your little independents, and uh, they'll order them for you. Make sure you get them at least this big. Otherwise, the meat inside is going to be too small. Okay, real easy. Best way to do it is on a barbecue pit. But what I'm, look what I did. I rigged up a thing. I got one of my grills. And this is what you do. First of all, make sure these are alive. Okay? You look inside, make sure that shell's closed. If it's not closed, I would check it and smell it and throw it away. So actually, make sure when you buy them, you're buying live ones and don't buy dead ones. Okay, okay, let's get these nice big guys. All right, I got some. And these, like I said, look at how easy this is. Now, I've already tried this once, so I know it works. Okay, while that's doing, let's make this little sauce, all right? I'm gonna make a very nice, it's a Thai sauce um, that I learned in Thailand. And it's something like what, what Sin made, but just a little different. And I'm going to start frying just a little bit of butter. This is a combination of things here. Okay, we got butter and minced garlic. You got to mince it real fine. Okay, real fine. Put a little garlic. Now, these are called kefir lime leaves. You buy these at Oriental Markets, and this has a delicious smell to it. Just incredible. So you're using kind of a, some, in, some uh, exotic ingredients. Okay, put that on low. Now I'm using a, a curry. You can use your own curry. This is a prepared curry from Thailand. It has garlic, chilies in it already. This is rather hot. You don't want to put too much. Okay, and then, of course, we've got to put some ginger. All right, ginger, you peel it. Mm, isn't fresh ginger delicious? I like it on fruit. Okay, always smash it. Cut it up. See, pretty easy. Boy, hers, I tell you, huh, the boys, the, the camera crew, we all just, we ate that very, very easily. Okay, the liquid we're going to put in there is going to be sherry wine. And don't forget to put lemongrass in, folks. Okay, that's very, very important. That gives a nice flavor. And you buy that in the Oriental stores also. Very, very important to put that in. Now, let's check our oysters. Oh, these are coming up nicely. Okay, lime juice. Let's check our oyster. Now, I put a little brown sugar in here because you want it to be slightly sweet. Okay, you got all those nice... Okay, this is what it's going to look like. You see? You see, they're not quite cooked yet. Perfect. That's exactly the way we want them. Okay, so what you do next is you put a little of this. You put a little of this. Now, you can use a tomato sauce. You can use... I'm using this oriental sauce because... The one Sin made for us up there was so delicious. Boy, I poached in their liquids and poached in that nice sauce we got. Folks, you've got barbecued oysters. I would serve three to a person. 
that's your big guys ladies these are easy to eat now remember the secret to these folks is to make sure you cook the oysters all the way through you don't want these are too big you want these guys poached all the way through they got to be on the hard side easy one hope you enjoy Well, folks, this is what I did this morning. I tell you, I had my full oysters for a while. Oysters lovers, eat your hearts out. These are the best. Mm. 